Wow, that's beautiful. They made a masterpiece here. I like how Freerun is not even trying to help. Come on, Freerun, come on. It's about to get cold. How exciting! Ah! Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dana, and today we're watching episode 11 of Freerun. Guys, the last episode was probably one of the best episodes I've watched this far. I absolutely loved it. It gave every single, well, I guess Stark didn't really have a moment to shine in the last episode, more so his time to shine was in the episode prior, but it gave everyone else the time to shine, especially free ring y'all, like Aura, heal yourself. Guys, I was, <laughs> that episode was peak, 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 peak. You can't tell me it gets better than that. You just can't tell me it's better than that. Oh man, this show, they don't pull their punches. I oh, I love it so, 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 so much. And I'm so excited to keep watching it, guys. I think this episode is definitely gonna be a lot more chill, a lot more tame. I think it's gonna just be them. It's gonna be one where it's just gonna be Free Ren, Stark, and Fern just coasting along, going around, and continuing on their journey. We might see, well, we will see some more backstory, and we'll just get to see their relationships growing stronger and stronger and learning more and more about each other. And I'm so excited. You guys, I just love this show. Oh. Going into this, I didn't think this show would be this good, but it is so, Good. And I can't wait to continue watching it. But of course, with you guys, I'm having so much fun, especially in the comments. It's a good time over there when you guys explain things that I missed or just go more into detail of things that we did see. I love to see it. I love to learn more about this show, especially since I love it so much. So, so please continue to comment down below any interesting facts or if you just want to say hi. And while you're there, might as well just hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell because it really does support my channel as I continue to grow the Dana Dobbs family. I can't believe that we have 600 people in our community. It, it honestly just makes me so happy and I just I want to take this chance to say thank you so much. Truly, truly, thank you so much. So let's continue on into this episode. I can't wait to watch it alongside with you guys. It's a fun little anime and chill that we've got going on every single day. I love it. What do you guys do while you watch my videos? Do you guys eat? Do you guys just sit and chill? I usually just sit here, chill, and drink my beverage. <laughs> but let me know what you guys are doing. I'm curious what's happening on the other side of the screen. Alrighty guys, well, let's get into this. Starting in three, two, one, go. Beautiful sunrise. It's the start of a new day with Freer and the Slayer and Aura no more. And the town can be in peace finally. Is she praying? Mr. I love how hopeful this feels. So you defeated Aura. She said yes very easily. I didn't have to do anything. I guess those all were people that were sacrificed to Aura. So I guess they're like saying a goodbye and like a thank you. You guys can finally all rest in peace now. Alrighty, I'm gonna skip the intro. Wow, this looks like a painting that you would hang on your wall. This is really beautiful. I don't believe what I see. I thought this day would never come. And it has. She didn't even have to lift a finger for it. Don't flee on my behalf. Good news. The old softy said he would pardon you. <laughs> oh, she really thought she would defeat all of them and he would be like, get out of here. None of them are seriously damaged. So now he can return all of these necklaces to the family members of the people that cared about those people that they belonged to. So that would be nice. This is such a beautiful episode. I still really think they nailed uh, Aura's design. I really loved her design. Probably one of my favorite character designs on the show, actually. Good work. They got the praise from their mentor. I'm proud of you guys. Oh, of course she had to. <laughs> she had to say something. You look like death itself. See, they receive proper burials. I can 
escort our heroes from here. Sir. The Lord. What is it? Yeah, these all look like... Oh, the, is that his son? Oh. At least he finally gets his closure for his son. I've never been so grateful as I am to you today. Truly, truly beautiful, the, the paintings on these. Uh, one of you guys did comment that they took three years to produce Free Rin, and it definitely shows... Uh, so does that mean we'll have to wait another three years for the next season to come out? For all that you've done for us. I don't know, but they I vowed to they made a masterpiece here. You requested one thing. Flama's grimoire detailing the defensive barrier. An artifact that's been passed down my family tree for generations on end. Before it's too late to take back your request, you should know this grimoire... I know, it's fake. <laughs> she already knows. That's correct. Though it does describe a type of barrier, it's nothing like the one that protects our walls. That spell is passed by tongue. Mm. I am well aware is he going to share it with her? It's just for a hobby of mine. I see. Oh, she did all that for a book. No reason to be so formal with me. Through your eyes, I must look like a babe fresh out of the cradle. I've known better than to test nobility since my departure to defeat the Demon King. That sounds right. Master Heiter mentioned the capital. How disrespecting nobility there is punishable by death. Mm. Himmel and Eisen nearly lost their heads for daring to speak so casually to his majesty. Oh, well. Takes me back. Proud Himmel whimpering like a kitten. <laughs> no. Execution sounds like overkill, don't you? I agree. It definitely sounds like overkill. Sounds like a case of hubris. War is a serious offense. Sorry, old timer. You better kiss your fancy chair goodbye. Wow. I'm glad you aren't like those barbarians. <laughs> He's like, oh dang, I forgot I talked to him like that. Oh, and he looks right at him. Work is done. Trees are pruned. Thank you. That was perfect timing. <laughs> I only said that so you wouldn't waste valuable time saving me. I won't chop your head off or throw you in jail for forgetting your sirs and ma'ams. So relax, adventurers. Much appreciated. I mean, they literally did just save your whole town, so. <laughs> He's petrified. Oh. <laughs> I like how they just float him around. They're like, okay. I told the townsfolk of Aura's defeat. Of course, they all want a chance to honor their heroes. I do hope you'll linger a while. She probably won't, but... I think it's nice for her to get a little celebration in every once in a while. Even though she says she doesn't like it, I think she does. They're like, floating man! Wow. That is a huge burger. <laughs> you know, I just had a burger for lunch, funny enough. What did you guys eat for lunch today? Ah, they're helping repair the town now. That's great. I love it. What's this? Oh, they even have some magic to heal people? Okay. Oh, well, duh. Healing magic. Duh. <laughs> okay, so they stayed in this town for a little while. Nice. He's like, oh no, the killer guy again. <laughs> I really like this music. I feel like shots like this are really good for the animators because it could save them uh, some work. And we just rely on the beautiful visuals and the beautiful voice of this lady. Are those the Northern Lights? You know, I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights. That's one of my goals for this year is to try to see them. Because I think they're supposed to be the strongest that they've ever been for, or that they will be for the next 10 years or something like that this year. And yeah, so have you guys ever seen the Northern Lights? I know I'm going on a tangent, but as I'm listening to this, I'm just curious. All right, they're having their ceremony to honor all of the dead. This is a beautiful uh, ceremony. Nice. Shopping's all done. Perfect. Are we ready to go? Leaving so soon. Leaving so soon. It's probably been like a couple weeks. Please allow me to see you to the gates. Their journey through this town has finally come to an end. I hear you're traveling to Enda, home to the Demon King's castle and as far north as you can get. 
Enda. Is that the first time we've heard the name? Conditions on the northern plateau right now won't make for easy passage. Have you seen who you're talking to? She literally just defeated Aura. Adventurers must be accompanied by a first class mage. She is obviously a first class mage. Clearly, Mistress Freerin qualifies. Yeah. What do you mean, first class mage? Very funny. But you must know that's a certification awarded by the Continental Magic Association. I did not know that. I didn't even know there was a whole association. Before we left the Holy Capital. Interesting. See? This declares me a certified third class mage. Come to think of it, I do remember you. Huh. Freerin's like, uh, I am not classed at all. Mistress Freerin, please don't tell me you're an unlicensed underground mage. You make it sound like I'm some kind of <laughs> Is she unlicensed? The organizations that regulate mages are constantly changing. Uh oh. What's happening with this guard? This looks ominous. Even I know about the Continental Magic Association. Oh dang. So I guess she has to go get her uh, license now. Exactly. No time at all. Exactly. No time at all. When they change their standards of conduct so frequently. In any case, we need to solve this problem if we want to continue. I guess that is their next task. But if I remember correctly, there's a place up north where she could take the exam, right? That would be the largest magical city. Watch her fail the exam. Miss <laughs> Oysterst. It's far past. Ulvis. Follow the beaten path, but your journey would be arduously long. It's all right. They love a good long journey. <laughs> the House of Granat will never forget what you've done. Till next time, Granat. Thank you for being a stop on our journey. It has been pleasant. Man, the music is just so beautiful. Is she, he's going to see the axe guy again. Oh, is it snowing? Hey, it's snowing. Nice. It is almost winter. Oh, it's about to get cold. It's a bitter season around these parts. And they're going to the northern part. Will it really be that dangerous? So you aren't aware? In the war against the Demon King, it wasn't the enemy that took the most lives. But the winters of the northern lands. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, winter can be brutal. I remember I used to live in an apartment that had horrible ventilation and my bed literally froze to the wall. What now? It was pretty bad. <laughs> wow. That snow definitely picked up quick. And worse still, we're lost before even entering the Schwer Mountains. Oh no. Yeah, everything is just white. Mr. Stark, you need to wake up. Sleeping will kill you. Uh, you really expect me to believe the Jumbo Berry Special has always been this small? We have bigger issues than that. Oh, this is going to be interesting. The strength of the wind takes any sort of magical transportation out of the question. He'd be blown across the sky. Hmm. And I suppose we'll have to carry him. Oh, boy. Well, they'll be strengthening their arms and they're... Oh, they're carrying him like that. They're dragging him. Goodness. I like how Freyren is not even trying to help. <laughs> like, they could have both grabbed, like, his shoulders or something. Probably pull his arms out of his sockets or something. There should be an emergency shelter at the foot of the mountains. And you know this from 80 years ago? Oh, my gosh. He is going to have the worst... Um, frostbite on his feet it's gonna be so bad from dragging like that no circulation getting to them it looks to me like it's being maintained quite regularly <laughs> looks like a christmas card so nice somebody must have gotten here before us are they working out i'd take either over freezing to death <laughs> that's an edge oh i guess he's doing that to stay warm yep Heating up. another elf already wow how exciting! <laughs> this is so awkward. Not a chance. We need to keep looking around. Why? Cannot stay Why? Huh? Why not? Because there's a pervert inside. Why did you say that? You say? That's not nice. He's just working out. Come on, Mistress Freerin. Let's go. Hold on. Freerin? You an elf? She didn't notice some ears. That was the first thing I noticed. Come on, Freerin. Come on. It's been about 300 years since I've met another of my kind. 300. I thought the last of the elves had already died out. 
I thought so too. Aw, that's so nice. Thank you, miss. I appreciate the fire. Sure. I'm lucky that it was you mages who knocked at the door. The goddess must have led you straight to me. I was doing squats to stay alive. Yeah. I understand. That makes sense. Keep your muscles nice and warm. Anyway, I'm Koth the monk. Koth? 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 The monk? That's Mr. Stark the warrior. Stark the warrior. You mentioned heading to a Koth monk. the monk. So you're on a journey to heaven? Is he going to join them? I feel like he's like not. Most folks aren't so pious. He doesn't seem like party energy. Mistress Freerin. He keeps getting even colder. Put him closer to the fire. I don't know. I don't know anything about when someone's so warm, so cold. So cozy. Hypothermia. Now that's the jumbo bear. Ooh, that looks delicious. Ooh, makes me want some ice cream now. I remember we got caught in a blizzard. Yes. He's gonna wake up and be like, ah! <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Must you be so noisy? That's no way to thank someone for donating their body heat. <laughs> With your body heat? He did, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Nice body for an old guy. Well, that was blunt. Can I not appreciate a man's hard work? It's obvious he's been training for decades. This is true. Those abs. You must be seriously strong. I'm Stark. Stark is very uh, impressed. You coughed the monk. Coughed. He's like, oh, am I, can I get a body like yours? You must be super famous in the monk world, right? <laughs> Stark, you should stay and rest a bit longer. You two can help me bring Interesting. So this is what Stark wears under his coat. It looks very normal. <laughs> like just jeans and a turtleneck. I have enough supplies here to last us for a long while. Please, use anything you'd like. Mm. Trying to cross the Shvera Mountains in these conditions would be suicide. I'm afraid that we're stuck where we are. <laughs> They're always taking a detour somewhere. I'm curious, Freeran. Do you have any idea who I am? Nope. Not in the slightest. I didn't think so. Does he know who she is? Oh, no. She's the mage from the party that killed the Demon King. <laughs> He's like, oh? What is it you're getting at? How old are you? Just that you and I are elves, I suppose. That's what he wants to know. How old are you? How old is he? Is the question. Is he older than Freerin? Hey, okay, Stark. All right, look at him getting strong. <laughs> Freerin snuggled like those things were. Were those like bunnies or something? Aw, is he feeding, giving them food? Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was about to kill the rabbit. Yeah, they gotta have lots of logs for fire. Very uh, simple life in the woods they've got going on. I love seeing all of the nature yeah, and the six creatures. Months. Six months already. Thanks to you all, we did what most can't and survived a grueling winter in the northern winter. Wow. How did they not get bored? I guess there are four people, so that could help, but. Please give it to Fern for me, will you? A fitting token for a girl as pious as she is. Mm, sweet. Because being raised by a priest would do that to a person. Mm, I can see it. Forgets to thank the goddess. Will you explain to me why you believe in the goddess, Cloft? On one condition, you explain why you don't. Hmm. I find it incredibly odd that if you exclude the age of mythology, the goddess of creation hasn't shown herself once in the massively long history of this world. That is a fair point. You're still young. I used to think the very same way. Mm, so yeah, he's old, yes. old. I believe the goddess exists from the bottom of my heart. I guess that's the main thing with religion. It is a it's more like I need belief her. system. You're Everyone looking for something to believe in. Whether you believe that it could be real or not, you'd like to believe that it is. But Does that make sense? Die, I'll go to heaven, and there the goddess will praise me at last. I could see that. You've done well, Koft. I'm proud. Mm. The life you lived was one of great worth. Good job. Good job. You understand. 
I, I understand what he's saying, yeah. Life has not been easy. Just looking for something to, to I guess, look forward to in the afterlife. So believing in to even reach this moment, a god or goddess lives and lives on end. gives you something to look forward to when you're done with this life. So you're dedicating your life to selfishly desire pleasing that person. And how does heaven play into that picture? <laughs> that was that was cute. It's no matter. Tell me about your life. And I'll tell you about mine. I think every soul needs someone to praise them. So if you don't have yeah. this, then I'll do it instead. Oh, that's really sweet. I do think so. I think I think people do need Wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely. I didn't think you're the type to fund the reconstruction of some little village. I think everyone needs some praise every now and then. From an outward source. Yes, of course, praise yourself. You know, you need to seek that validation internally, but also it's good to get those from outside sources. When my time here ends, it's very validating. I'd like to believe the goddess will praise me for a life righteously lived. Are these really such talks to have with a drink in your hand, Oak? <laughs> she is always, she is always getting on him about his drinking. Do you feel that you have someone to praise you? Mm. Wherever did that come from? I just wonder who's there to celebrate you if you don't believe in the goddess. I'm sure you figured it out, but if not, perhaps I could praise you instead. Oh, what a full circle moment. Not with my life at all. Certainly nothing I'd consider praiseworthy. You've lived for long enough, I'm sure. There's something that's praiseworthy. If you ask me, the power to do what you do seems like the result of tremendous effort. Yeah. Such skill would take a lifetime to acquire. I want Freyren to recognize how great she is now tell me the story of it all i can assure you it's not interesting i'm sure it is really don't mind. Besides, no matter how boring you think it is it'll be interesting to someone else to at least one person just gotta find them who becomes a mage and can make use of the knowledge i thought that priests could marry <laughs> everything is just so beautiful in this show i've had someone praise me enough for a lifetime uh. I see. You're lucky to have good friends, so please cherish them. Yes, please cherish them. Well, it's too late. He's. You've got new friends, though. Don't forget about them. He's already made his way to heaven. No trouble, for you'll meet again. Yes, you're right. Hmm. That well, was sweet. I'm headed this way. Freerin. This isn't the last time we'll meet. I'll see you in a century. I'll see you in a century or two. Wow. Nice. Take care of yourself, old man. Nice getting to know you. <laughs> Thank you for the pendant. It means very much to me. And all right. Oh, this show just always makes me feel so good to watch. That that was a great episode. The I know I say it every time, but the visuals are just so stunning. Especially that scene with the lavender field where her and the party were there. And it just looked like my, <laughs> it stunned me. It, it it stopped me in my tracks. I think I was talking about something else and seeing that I was just like, wait, <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is amazing. They really made something with this show. I'm absolutely loving it. And I think what adds to every single scene is the music. It's so rich, it's so powerful. I, it just evokes so much emotion from me and I just love it. I love that even in the slower episodes, like this was definitely a slower episode than the previous one. So much happened, so many emotional scenes, even though they were stuck in this hut for six months, maybe even a little bit more than six months, it had a meaning to it. it it's just like meeting people along the journey, people that remind Freerun of her party in the past. And I think it's really nice to see like this monk, which I don't know if we'll see him again throughout the show, but he reminded her of Heiter. And I think it was nice for her to reflect back on those memories and see that she's had people who have praised her and who have acknowledged the great things that she's doing. I feel like Freerin, as a result of her teachings with Flama, is very hard on herself or she doesn't allow herself to appreciate the great things that she's doing or just let her light shine because Flama told her to not stand out. But Freerun is amazing, or as I like to say, 
she's a mage -ing. but uh no seriously i think she's an amazing person who truly does care about other people i think she just struggles with allowing them to get closer to her and it seems like she's getting better at it and she's slowly starting to realize that other people care about her and that she should also care about them and show them these feelings but i do love watching her as a mentor and giving praise to her mentees and just taking things in going slowly i love that about this show i feel like i'm along for the journey it doesn't feel like we're just skipping to different parts along their journey and like i feel far removed i feel so much ingrained in this journey like i'm rooting for them i am hearing them sitting next to the fire i'm hearing them praying you know all these little things and i feel like i'm there with them and i think they really nailed that with this show every single element really adds to that and i absolutely love it and i'm so excited to watch the next episode especially alongside you guys i I'm loving it. I'm love, 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 loving it. And as I said earlier in the video, please do continue to comment in my comment section so we can have a discussion about this so we can truly enjoy the show together. It's just too good to not talk about. So yeah, let me know any thoughts you guys have about this show. I can't wait to discuss them in the comments below. And while you're there, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so we can continue watching together next time because I just love watching all of these shows with you guys. It makes me so happy. It just, I love it. I, I It brings me so much joy and I look forward to doing this every single day. I can't wait until I eventually start live streaming so we can actually start having discussions live time, but in due time, in due time. Until then, I do upload a new video every single day, so keep your eye out so we can animate and chill together. Alrighty guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching, by the way.